In this video, I'm going to teach you how to edit any data of any object in Roblox. So go ahead and start by inserting a part into workspace, like so. Okay, and then insert a script into server script service. And in order to do anything with any object, you first have to locate the object. So I want to locate this part right here. So the part is inside the game, so we'll type in game. And then you can also see that the part is right in the workspace. So we'll type in dot workspace and then part. So we'll go from top to down. You can also think of the game as this explorer window right here. And then it's just traversing downwards from there. And then we'll go ahead and click on this part here. You can see there's a lot of properties for this part. You can change the color or the transparency. So we'll change the transparency for now. And then after we locate the object, we want to specify what property we want to change. So type in that transparency. And then we right now it's set to zero. We want to assign it a new value. So equal sign and then whatever value you want, 0 0.5. And we'll go and run this and test it. And you can see it turns semi-transparent. Whenever you're changing a property, it's important to know what type of value it takes. For transparency, it takes a number value because you can change the slide right here. You can type in whatever numbers you want, like so. But this is not the most concrete way of knowing that it's a number. So the best way to know is to go to the documentation. So go here. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description. So this is the documentation. So we're going to click on the search bar right here and then type in part and click on engine API and then click on the part API right here. And on the right side, you'll see there is some just a list of properties right here, which is what we want. So go ahead and try to find transparency. It is in alphabetical order click transparency right here and you can see right next to transparency there's this word number so that's the value type it takes it takes in a number so I'll change I'll change another property so let's change the brick color property so that's the color right here so again we're gonna locate the object we want game that workspace that part that brick color is equal to and then we need to know what type of value this property takes so go back to the documentation and then find brick color right here. You can see it takes in a brick color value and you can even open it to see more information on it and even some code examples like so. So we're going to type in the type of value, brick color, and then we, to, we want to make a new of this type, so dot new. And then we'll go ahead and type in whatever color we want so we can do pink. And if we were to run this now, you can see that it turns pink. Next up is the name. So you can see there's the name property right here and we can type in whatever letters you want to it. So right now it's set to part. So let's go ahead and change that. So again, locate the object, game.workspace.part, specify the property one change, dot name, set a new value to it. And then you'll want to see what type of value it takes. So go back to documentation and then look for the property. So ours is name. And then, okay. So you see it takes in a string and we can also open up a string and we can see that the string is just the text right here with the quotations around it. So we'll go ahead and do just that. So to make a string, quotations, and then whatever text we want, we'll just type in cat. And then we'll run it and we can see the name is now cat instead of part. Okay, next up will be the anchored property. So right now it's set to false. So we'll drag this up. So because it's false, if we were to run the game, it will drop down like so. And then if we were to anchor it, it won't drop down. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we can locate the object, game, that workspace, that part and then specify the property you want to change. So that's dot anchored, then set a new value. So again, go back to documentation and then just look for the property. Sometimes you have to click it twice. Okay, you see it takes something, something called a bullion and you can always click on it for more information. And you can see here it says a bullion can either be false or true. So we'll go back here and it was typed in true because right now it's set to false. And if we were to run it, all right, so we got an error here. It says part is not a valid number workspace, which means the script can't find the part. 
Let's open up workspace. And the reason why I can't find it is because it's named cat right now and not part. So easy fix, which is either we can delete this or we can just replace this with cat. I can see now it works and now it's floating in air. All right, now we'll go ahead and change the size as well. So right now size is these numbers right here. So we're going to locate the object again. And remember it's called cat now. So dot cat dot size, specify the property one change and then we'll assign it a new value. So go back to documentation and then Go back to the part, and then we'll see where the property is. Size right here. And again, sometimes you have to click it twice. There we go. So we can see that the size takes in a something called a vector three value type, and where we can always click on it for more information. And they give us even an, a little example right here. So we're going to type in the type of value we want, vector three, and then we'll make, we want to make a new of that value. So dot new. Then we'll type whatever number one. We'll just make it really small. One one one. Go ahead and run that. And you can see it's really small. So this code looks pretty good. Uh, an issue right now is that let's say I were to change the name of this part right here. Let's say I changed it to I don't know part X. We would have to change. You know, if we're trying to run it right now, it would error because it can't find the part. And we'd have to change this to part X for each of them. So that gets pretty annoying. So if you watched my last video, uh, I told you that the solution was just to make a variable. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'll make a variable, I'm gonna call it cube. If you haven't watched the last video, I really recommend it because it's very important. And then we'll locate the object, game.workspace.partx. And then we are storing this object into this variable right here. So instead of using this, we can just type in cube. And what's the magic thing about this is that because it's storing the object, even though we changed the name right here, we don't actually have to do anything else. So I'll show you an example. So right now it's all cube right now. And we're to run this. You can see it still works. And even though we changed the name, we don't have to do anything extra. We only have to mess with this first line. So that's why variable is really nice. So that's about every property of the part. And if you just follow the same steps, uh, that I said for any object you can you can uh, in theory change any uh, object so for example let's go ahead and delete this part and let's just choose a random thing let's just do lighting for example so again you can see lighting has here has a bunch of properties so first thing I'm going to do is go to the documentation for lighting so click on the search icon right here and then type in lighting and then sometimes you have to go to the engine API and it's right there lighting and it will choose a random property. So I've never changed. Uh, let's do shadow softness. I've never actually changed that one before. So when you're messing with something new, go to documentation first and then see what type of value you take. So let's look at shadow softness right here. So this part tells me what it does and it also tells me that it takes in a number value type. So we'll go ahead and make a script. So, oh, I already made one. Right. So, locate the object we want to change. So, it's not a part this time, now it's lighting. So, game.lighting. And then the property we want to change. So, that's going to be shadow softness. And again, it takes in a number. So, we can just type in whatever number we want. Let's just do, I don't know, 10. See what happens. And then if you go here, okay, I guess it maxes out at 1. But let's see what it actually changes. Let's make a shadow. So that's what shadow looks like right now. And then if we were to run the game, you can see that the shadow is very blurred now. So I guess that's what shadow softness does. And that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like this video, subscribe, and join my Discord.